welcome to the Stealthy Crafter. So today I have a whip and chat for you guys. Um, if you don't know what whip stands for, it stands for work in progress and then you chat along. Excuse me. Um, so what you normally can do during a whip and chat is that um, you get out your own projects while you listen to me ramble or anyone else, honestly. Um, you can do your projects, you can do your chores, drive, if you just want to relax, what have you. So let's get started, shall we? So um, today's uh, project I am working on is the Sugar Plum Fairy by Mandy Monsino. And it is, let's see, it's 56 by 89 centimeters. It's, it's one of my bigger ones. And there's a garbage truck going by. Okay. <laughs> I am very distracted today, so I apologize. Um, I hope that you guys are doing great. It is almost December. I don't know if this video is going to come out on the 30th or on the 1st, but, you know, it's it's somewhere in between those two days. Um, so, anyway, hope you guys are getting excited for Christmas. I'm a little sad that, you know, Halloween is over. Let me see. I am trying to find that one letter. Uh, where is it? I saw it earlier. Oh, there it is. So I just got started a little bit already. Got a little section over here done. Um, I'm probably going to stop on this section and wait till my new drills came in. I came ordered a couple more ABs for her hair and stuff like that. So I might start working on just this side until uh, I get my new drills. But yeah, I hope everyone's doing okay. Um, that everyone's doing well. And... Uh, I am, I am honestly am distracted. I'm hearing all sorts of noises going out today. I'm sorry. It's just that a lot of people have started decorating their houses. I haven't yet. I will, we'll talk about that. Um, but a lot of people have started decorating their houses and I have the windows opened. So if every time I look out, there's cars going by, there's people, you know, dragging their decorations outside. So I'm just like shiny key syndrome. Like, Ooh, what's that? Ooh. <laughs> Um, I hope I sound a lot better to you guys than I did on my last whip and chat because I, I, uh, I was a little rough. I still have, have a tinge of, of it. Um, luckily, it's not as bad. Um, I hope everyone had a really good Thanksgiving. We, we did as well. Wednesday was spent, um, I wasn't like cooking. I was spent the day cleaning more than cooking. I think the only thing I cooked uh, on Wednesday was cornbread. Let me let me see. Yeah, uh, Wednesday was cornbread. Um, my husband had to go out and brave the store on. I'm sorry, excuse me. I am still sniffly. Um, so my husband had to go brave Walmart on um, on Wednesday. And uh, let's see, where's the other? We. He, he, you know those uh, big stuffed animals I was talking about in the last women chat? So, one of my friends told me that they were at a different Walmart for $25 instead of the $40 that I saw. And I essentially sent them out to, to go get these um, four, not four, these three. It should have been four because I want a sloth. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, but... He found them, and they were $25, luckily. So, um, But my oldest was with him, so she, he made her promise not to tell uh, her siblings. So what he bought was a unicorn for the youngest, a, um, let's see, a dinosaur, like I think it's a triceratops for, my, for our son. And then for the oldest, she got, it, it's a stuffed bear, unicorn but she's calling it a kitty corn instead because she wants to make it a kitty i'm like okay it's a kitty with a short tail so uh we we bought those and they were hiding in his car uh for a few days until we we gave up and gave them to the kids but um they didn't find out until way later but uh let's see that is not straight oh my goodness um but yeah it was just yeah, you, you see, I am a mess today. Uh, but yeah, Wednesday was spent cleaning. Husband went to Walmart. Um, the kids, they got to play video games. They got to relax a little bit. Um, 
kind of told them to try and straighten areas out before Nana and Papa showed up. And then on Thursday, I'm sure as a lot of people have spent the day cooking, um, my husband and I both cooked. He he did the main dish. We we don't do turkey normally. Um, I'm not a big fan of turkey. Um, and it's just so much. But my husband makes beer can chicken. So he uh, grilled that. And then he also made mac and cheese. Uh, uh, my mother-in-law brought, I think it was like, green beans and meat and potatoes. I, I, I don't remember exactly the dish. It was really good. And then I made the other side dishes, which was a cornbread dressing, which is why I made the cornbread the day before. And also um, the cranberry sauce. And then for dessert, I tried my hand at making cherry cobbler, which failed. Everyone said it was okay. I didn't like it. Um, uh, There was not enough of the topping. It's it was uh, it was too sweet um so i have some cherries left over i don't know if i'll make that into like a min smaller pie like a small pie or um a you know a smaller cobbler or something but you know i'll, I'll do something with it but um the kids they were so happy to see um to see their nana uh she actually had a couple things for them to do to keep them entertained she spent almost all day with at least the oldest she the oldest uh was mostly entertained the other two kept coming in and out uh but she brought over christmas ornaments for the kids to decorate um diamond painting ones sorry um still really sniffly um but yeah they they spent the whole day it was like a double-sided christmas ornament so they spent all that time doing stuff. And I have to say, that's the longest I've seen the oldest stay still in one spot doing a project. So I'm amazed. Because normally, like, uh, I have a couple of diamond painting little kits for her to work on. And she claims she likes doing them. But she doesn't stay more than 10 minutes at, at the area. So I was just so surprised that she stayed. I think it's just Cousin Nana. Um... And even my son, he he just he's not big on diamond painting at all, but um, my uh, my son was able to stick around for one project while the rest of rest of them did the um the rest of the ornaments. I think there was like twelve ornaments in all. But yeah, they had so much fun. So my husband and I spent the time cooking, cleaning. I did a little bit of diamond painting. I not on this one. Um, on Beauty and the Beast. Um, I actually have that put up now and, uh, we spent time talking to, um, my father-in-law and just catching up. It was, it was a really nice, nice to see them again. It was awesome. I was, I, I missed them. So they are unfortunately won't be, we won't be able to see them for a few weeks or going back to the beach, you know, that retirement life. So, um, I think it's, my husband said that they're gone for two weeks. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, hopefully next time we'll, we'll, we'll see them again soon. I don't know if it's going to be before Christmas or, um, during like uh, a couple days after Christmas or whatnot. Cause I, I got a thing like, um, uh, right now where I like to, unless of course my family is visiting, um, which they aren't because I barely see my family as it is. Um, so it's like, I want to keep a uh, one day like a holiday like which is Christmas just stay here and have the kids open presents and stuff cuz I remember growing up um I don't know if you guys have done it too um where you grow up and then like you get to open all your presents and you're like so excited that you want to play with them but then your parents are like all right time to go pack up and go visit relatives and then you're like but I want to play with my new gifts and you know I I don't want to do that to the kids so I'll uh and my stomach's now growling. My goodness, I am a mess today. So, so yeah, so I'm just uh, more of a fan of keeping them home and letting them play with their new stuff. And then they get to see their Nana and Papa the next day or the day before. So that way it's like not, they don't feel like they're, you know, stuck 
not being able to do play with their new toys or anything like that. Because I know they love their Nana and Papa, but I also know that disappointment feeling. So, and what we're probably going to do uh, for Christmas, I, I know this sounds weird. We don't normally do anything big. Um, if, if, uh, if my in-laws are not here during Thanksgiving weeks, like, um, a cup, like a couple of times they are, because they usually do go vacationing, um, around this time, around Thanksgiving week. Um, I think the past few Thanksgivings though, they have been, uh, they've been going after Thanksgiving, but there's been a time, a couple of times where they go during Thanksgiving week. And if they're not coming here, here at all, uh, we have lasagna instead. <laughs> I know we we are not traditional. We'll we'll have lasagna set. The kids don't like lasagna, um, but my husband and I do, and we don't really get to eat lasagna too much, so it's a bit of a treat. So to us, that's one we'll do lasagna, but we'll probably do it for Christmas this year. Um, but yeah, it's just like Thanksgiving was was a blast. I had so much fun. Uh, my husband and I both cleaned up. I think he cleaned up more than I did, honestly. And then, um, and then it was, it was really sad because, uh, they left like late. It was, they spent all day. I, I forgot to tell them because I was just like, Hey, would you guys like to come over at 12 o'clock? Um, and I think, I think, uh, uh, they assume that, uh, that will be eaten like as a luncheon kind of thing, but I just meant as let's you know, come over early so you can see, you know, your grandkids and everything. And I, I didn't think I included that, unfortunately. And that's, I was like, oops. Uh, um, so we made them a, um, a lunch and everything. So that way they wouldn't be starving. That was a little embarrassing. Um, but you know, I just wanted them to have some time to spend, spend with their grandkids. It's been so long. And then they got to spend all day and then, like, I had the kids getting ready for bed. I told them to, for first time, you know, don't have to shower tonight, which they love. I don't know why, because, you know, they smell at times, but they didn't stink that day. Because <laughs> they all stayed inside. But they got to uh, say goodnight to Nana. But, oh, man, I, I had a feeling it was going to happen, but the waterworks started. They they were so upset. They started crying. And normally I do, like, a silly wave to to my uh, mother-in-law all the time. I'm all, like, this wavy motion or, like, this, you know, just being silly. And I couldn't do that because I had to go and comfort the kids because they were so upset. It was like, it's okay, guys. You'll see them again. They really do love their their grandparents. It's it's so sweet. But um, after I got them calmed down, um, we sent the twins to bed. The oldest, uh, she, uh, I don't know what she did. She probably like played. Uh, my husband bought. I'm going to mess this up. Super Smash Brothers. Um. So the so him and uh, her have been playing it, but she's been like obsessed with it. So I think she was playing that for that day. Um, after after the the in laws left, and then Friday we had to do more work. Um, my husband took the oldest out to have just a talk and you know spend daddy daughter time. Um, they got lunch for everyone. Um, plus it was a good break to have have her away from the twins because they were just it, it's one of those days where you know everyone's kind of getting on each other's nerves and that's what was happening like like she was just agitated at them um and they were getting agitated right back at her so my husband's like yeah let, let's just you know split split everyone up for now <clears throat> and um while that was happening uh we we decided at that day was to give the there's a school bus. See, I, I get distracted. Um, so that day uh, we decided just to give the kids their their Christmas presents early. Um, those things are huge. I I realized they were huge because I I saw saw it at uh, my neighbor's house, the unicorn, but I didn't think about three of them, all of that same size. 
they filled that entire minivan that we have. <clears throat> and I was like, yeah, we have no way to hide these things. So we gave them their Christmas present early. I could ask my neighbors to, to hide the toys, but I just don't want to bother them. So, and we're already hiding some, we were already hiding some items as it was in our garage. And there was no way of just opening the uh, door and sneaking it past the, the twins uh, since it's like right there in their line of sight. <clears throat> so, oh man, but they love those, those, um, toys. Um, they, they used it as pillows. They dragged it around. They, they were, um, let's see. Um, the twins, while, while the oldest was gone with the husband, um, the twins were like acting like they were right on. So they were like galloping around, <laughs> scooting it. <clears throat> and then other times they were picking it up, which is hilarious since they're so small compared to this, um, stuffed animal and carrying it on their heads, acting like they're running and chasing each other. It was, um, it was adorable. Um, but yeah, that day I was like spending time, I think trying to straighten stuff up um and get ready for the next day because um we had friends giving the next day but um even though that the oldest was gone they were still kind of in that mood and at one point um i hear my son yell to his sister basically yell her, her name and they go stop being dramatic at me and then i hear her yell back i'm dramatic and I turn around just in time when she's like I'm not dramatic and she flops onto the floor <laughs> excuse me <clears throat> she drops onto the floor dramatically like I was like not dramatic eh <laughs> and she was just like <clears throat> and I'm just like okay so I had to calm them down I um Told them that, you know, daddy was coming home with, with lunch soon. I think they were hangry, too. So, that probably didn't help. Um, they eventually did make up. It was just funny hearing their conversation. And he just, my son's just like, I love you, but please don't be dramatic at me. Okay, but I wasn't dramatic, but I won't be dramatic. It was so cute and funny all at the same time. And I am going to stop for a minute so everyone, you know, hydrate and I'll be right back. And I'm back. Hopefully everyone had a sip of water. Uh, let's see. What symbols? Okay, just making sure. So, um, I hope everyone also had a good um, uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, or got all the deals that you wanted. Um, if you're into diamond painting, um, I don't know if, what... If everyone got saw all the new releases that came out because like I was I was just scoping it out because I was looking at um, every day when they kept releasing new new ones I'm like ooh, I want that and I want that and I want that and I want that and then um, uh, I kind of on, on Thanksgiving I was able to convince my mother-in-law because she's she's gotten into diamond painting too but um I got her a a diamond painting for uh, her Christmas gift and told her, don't worry about the price. Just pick whatever you want and, you know, it'll happen. And she, she was just, she was a little worried about the price. But it's like, it's don't, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Especially since, you know, there was, what was it, 25% off at that time? Uh... But man, if I waited till yesterday, it would have been 30% off. But you know, you never know about these things. Um, but yeah, after that, I got her that and it shipped almost, I want to say the, like the next day. So it should be here tomorrow, I think. Um, and then I, I'll just wrap it up and, you know, have it waiting till, till uh, Christmas. Cause I am going to make her wait till Christmas. <laughs> Um, but then, oh man, Friday, I woke up three, I had my alarm set to three o'clock in the morning for Friday and it went off. 
um, and I was already exhausted from all that stuff. Um, and I go to check out the website and I'm just hemming and hawing. I'm like, uh, I want all of these things. And I didn't want to spend all the money because, you know, hello, Christmas gifts and stuff like that. And my husband said I could get, I think he said I could get like two or, or, or three at the time. And I was just like, I, I like this one and I like this one and I like this one, you know. And I just, I couldn't make a decision, so I went back to bed. <laughs> I know, sounds so awful. I went back to bed. I'm like, I, I, I'll just, I won't bother. I won't, I won't do it as much as I want to. I was like, that was what I was going through. And then in the morning, my husband's like, which ones did you pick? And I'm like, I can't decide. This guy is so sweet, man. Um, so we go on the website and we're looking around and I'm just like pointing out all things and he's like, give me a list and then we'll talk about it. And I show him like four, I think it was like four things I want. And he goes, all right, go get those. And I'm like, really? Really? And yeah, so I got those four. And then of course, as you guys know, <laughs> um, Diamond Art Club did another release that day. They released like 20 more new paintings. And it was like, there was like a few where I'm like, oh, I love these ones. And this guy, he's so sweet. He's like, he let me get another three. So that's seven diamond paintings that's that I'm going to be getting. Um, luckily, I had it split perfectly. So the first four are not pre-orders and the last three are. So I, uh, I got lucky. Lucky with how I split that up. Um, and then the next day, I was on Oraloa's website. Because I was like, because they had a 60% off sale. And I was like kind of thinking about like getting one. I was like trying to look at my points and everything. He's like, just get it. It's $20 off. Go ahead. I'm like, okay. Thank you. I don't know what I did right, but hey, you know. That was awesome. So, um, if you guys were counting, that's eight diamond paintings I bought. And um, the Oraloa one is already on its way. So, um, I don't know when I'm going to be able to do that one. But, that's going to be sometime in the future. I have one that I'm going to do in January. It's a... Uh, um, it's one similar to the La Sorciere one. So, I have that one planned. Don't know if I'll able to be able to do it, but I got a plan. Um, and then Saturday was spent uh, cooking again because we had Friendsgiving. My neighbors and I were all uh, went to went to uh, cook together. Well, not together in our own separate place. Um, one of my neighbors did turkey. I know, I know. I just said I didn't like turkey. And, um, she, she made turkey. I wasn't going to tell her, I don't like turkey. I'll just eat it and just be like, mmm, yum, you know. Um, and then I felt bad for my other neighbor because it, uh, my, my first neighbor, she was the one that had an idea, but she didn't have a dining room table. But my other, my other neighbor, she did. So I felt bad that we were all over at her house and I was going to offer, but I don't really have a lot of space for like to put all the dishes too. So, and that was a lot of dishes, um, with everyone. Um, so when I got there, my kids, they saw, her, uh, my neighbor's kids, everyone just started going, Wah! you know, it just kind of being a little loud. I'm like, had to calm them down a bit. Um, don't know if I want a cat now with how, um, crazy my children seem to act whenever they see a cat. Cause my neighbors has, has a, a couple of cats and I told them to stop being, um, basically crazy to them. They're sweet, but it's just like every time they saw that a cat, they're like, cat, cat, cat. And it's like, guys, it's, it's just a cat. Chill, chill. I don't know if I want to have a cat cat now because if they keep doing that I, I, I don't want to torture the poor thing you know um but yeah we had Friendsgiving and then what uh let's see I made cornbread dressing again 
I had a bigger batch. I had a had it prepped from Thanksgiving. I actually made um, a batch, but uh, I decided not to put all the herbs and, and stuff like that that I made the night before until the day of. But I was just basically on pins and needles. Whenever, whenever I have to do a get together or something like that, I'm always anxious because I'm I'm introverted. So I get kind of I get I try and hype myself up, and then like I it's not like I don't like spending time with my neighbors because I do. It's just I get my energy drains so quickly when I'm with a bunch of people, and usually when I'm with my neighbors, it's just um the wives is so it's just like two adults and then children and that's fine but this time it was like them and their husbands and then an additional um person um additional neighbor so it was just like oh my goodness this is a lot of people and i i had to prep myself and i had so much fun but man we i stayed a long time there my husband he got a phone call like we didn't even have dinner dinner we weren't even eating just yet <laughs> excuse me um and he gets a phone call right before we were about to serve dinner and it's his work basically saying that something came up and he has to go immediately fix the issue cuz some idiot decides that they're going to do maintenance on a holiday weekend and ruined uh ruined something that he has to now go fix when he wasn't supposed to. So um, my husband had to go and fix that. And it took forever. So he just told us to eat without him. Um, and we, we did. Um, we just felt bad because he had to leave. Um, like, But we're neighbors. So it's like not like I, we all had to leave luckily. It's just, you know, him. But then it was just me like making sure the kids aren't going crazy. <laughs> uh, I mean like all the other neighbors were too. It's just that just like well, that's a lot of kids all combined and it's, you know my I have three kids compared to their two and one so it's like I just got to make sure that that you know my kids aren't you know being rowdy especially with my oldest one uh being the biggest out of all of them um but yeah he left um I sent my oldest over a few times to essentially was like here have a plate to eat uh, I gave her like um, dessert later on when we had dessert. I sent him a plate of that. Then later on, I sent him a plate of leftovers so that we have something to eat later. Because what we did on Thanksgiving was give um, my in-laws all the food. Because um, not all the food. Uh, we gave them enough for two meals each. Um, so that way they're not having to cook and stuff like that all the time. And... Um, we, we kind of demolished most of ours the next day after that. So we had nothing and I didn't have anything really to make, uh, like my chicken, chicken and rice soup. So I'm going to probably have to buy a rotisserie chicken or something sometime this week because I am really wanting chicken and rice soup this week. And I want, I want, I like rotisserie chicken or like when we do, um, uh, grilled chicken like that. So I'm going to have to figure out something to do. Um, but yeah, it's like after that, I sent the kids home. <laughs> after they were all hyped up on sugar from the eating cake and then pie and soda. I basically told my husband, here, handle them. I felt bad for him on that, honestly. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but they were starting to get really loud and rowdy. And I didn't want them to uh, mess anything up over it. My, my neighbor's house I was just like they're good kids but you know once they get a bit of sugar in them it's uh it's kind of like watch out so you got to calm them down and um, I was helping clean up the mess that was uh, over there uh you know from all the food and all that stuff um but then we decided to play a game and it was like called what do you meme and I'm not sure if I like that game or not it was fun playing with everyone but I don't know if it's my favorite game so but I'll, I mean like I'll play with my, play with them again if they want uh you know because I like spending time with them but yeah I was so drained I came home it was like I think I spent almost eight hours over there so I was just ready I was I was exhausted because then like I said um 
I, uh, sorry, um, I, I, uh, I think I went to bed at 3.30 Friday night, like, well, Saturday, Saturday, uh, morning kind of thing. Uh, I think I went to bed at 3.30 and then I woke up at 6.30 and then had the kids just waking me up almost every four hours. So I had no, not much sleep. And then I came home at midnight, um, from spending time with them and then didn't sleep until like 1 30 so I was I was exhausted I went I came home straightened up said good night to to the husband and just I I passed out I I was exhausted um and the kids thankfully didn't uh will wake me up until I want to say eight ish at that point the next day I don't know if my husband had to talk with them because um my my son's n notorious for just waking me up for the, the smallest things like I need a blanket I need to go to use the restroom I'm hungry no but not like give me breakfast but more like I want a snack kind of thing or um can we get changed can we you know it's just like let me sleep for a little bit come in at this time but yeah it was just a it was a, a fun time and then oh man I think Sunday was one of my most relaxing days, though. Uh, we made it a pajama day. I don't know if you guys do that, like where you just proclaim the day a pajama day and refuse to get dressed. But that that's what we did um, on Saturday, not Saturday, on Sunday. I was like, we are not leaving this house. We are staying home. I am not going anywhere. And that's what we did. Um, I did order stuff online. I was... Uh, uh, I ordered a bunch of Christmas decorations. We got the Christmas tree out. Um, we put the ornaments that uh, my mother-in-law and kids made together. Um, so that's on the on the tree now. I haven't gotten any ornaments out yet. Um, they'll be taken out this coming week. Um, and my decorations should be coming between today and tomorrow. So I can finally start decorating the front house. Um, we decided we were going to start doing, actually decorate a little bit. Or, well, maybe I decided. Uh, and my husband's just going along for the ride. But the kids are excited. I asked him what kind of decorations he wanted. Because I wanted to make sure he was included. And not me just picking everything. But, um... I did pick a snowflake projector. We had one, but um, I wanted to, to upgrade, so we got one that's that's a little bit fancier, um, and actually was the same price as the old one from when we bought first bought the uh, projectors. I don't know. Uh, it's like how how is that projector? It's like three four years now. I was looking and looking though. For one of those countdown to Christmas ones. Because I thought how cool would it be just to put it on my garage. You know have that projector light hitting the garage. Because I've seen that like a few years ago um, in this area. I saw like one of our neighbors have that. And then the next year they weren't there. Um, so I was like I just wanted to get one of those. Because I was like I want to do that you know. And they're not here so anymore. I want to be able to have kids excited you know and counting on the christmas i looked everywhere they're on ebay instead uh, i don't know why they stopped making them but they did and it, it's sad and i'm like i i want to i want to be able to join in and have you know have you know a countdown count timer as well i don't want to like get um a big inflatable toy or something like that and then switch out the numbers you know I wanted to have a projector light hitting the garage but uh, unless I wanted to shell out like the $70 you know we're not doing it and I'm not shelling out $70 for a projector light we already kind of spent ju uh, just a little bit we're we're, we're not going to spend any more on Christmas decorations uh, um, I think I got in the mailbox cover. I was trying to find something to decorate the mailbox because I wanted to I wanted to do a little bit more than what we normally do. Um 
uh, for Christmas. And what we normally do is just set out um, a projector light and then maybe decorate the bushes and that's it. Um, this year, we'll, we'll, we're going to do a little bit more. Bought net lights instead. I've, I'm going to decorate the little Japanese maple tree that we have. I bought those little present boxes, you know, that I figure I could set underneath our, our tree that I decorate. Um, and then uh, my husband and I found, like, a reindeer sleigh thing that was under $60. We'll see how that works, you know. Hopefully it will work well. Um... But yeah, we, we're getting the kids into the Christmas spirit. And then, um, let's see, Monday the kids got back. I'm like, yes, I get to sleep in a bit. And I did. I slept in. Then we woke up the next day. Not the next day. We woke up a few hours later. And I started wrapping the Christmas gifts. I was so mean. I grabbed the dollhouse. I grabbed their big ticket items. I wrapped all of their gifts put it underneath the tree. I still have to wrap more. I, don't, I only wrapped one each, so I think it's like I only have four other gifts that I gotta wrap for, for each of them. So, and some of them, you know, I gotta hide somewhere else. Um, but, it's uh, it was funny when they came home and they were like, oh, and of course, my youngest, that's my dollhouse. I'm like, no, it's not. You know, she was, she, I'm like, how, how do you know about that kid? You know, but she was like on and on about how that was her dollhouse. I'm like, no, not, no, not, mm -mm. no, 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 no. And I think, I think she finally believed me. Um, and I'm like, it might be more than one present in there. So, um, so she, she, uh. She's just was staring at that present the whole time, just stroking it. I'm like, get away from the tree. We still got to decorate it later. Let's just stay away from those gifts. And they were just like, ooh, ah. Uh. But we were kind of mean because um, we were going to be basically torturing them with seeing those, those three gifts all month long until Christmas. I know we are so mean, aren't we? But, uh, but Monday was a very busy day for me because I was doing that. I had to repair the stuffed unicorn that uh, my youngest got from on Friday. There was already a hole in it, so I had to mend that. Um, I finished up, I finished up another, one of the rows on the Beauty and the Beast, rolled that up. Started working on some more masks, so I have an I have like a thing like at nighttime, this gets put up, so a machine comes up here. I start working on the mask, you know, because I'm like right at the end. I just have to put the finishing touches on it. I kind of took a break from them, but um, but yeah, that's been like it's been like a busy but yet not busy uh, week, if that makes sense. Tomorrow's going to be interesting. I want to see how well I'm going to be feeling. Um, because I'm getting my booster and my, um, flu shot tomorrow. So I don't know how exhausted I'm going to be. Plus I have a recording I want to do. Um, I want to, I have, I got my, um, Bell Art and Nicole, uh, mystery jingle bells, uh, jing jingle drills box. I want to open that soon. I wanted to get, start to using all the Christmassy items that I've gotten. Um, and I can't wait to do that. So I'm like, oh, yee. Plus, I want to see all the packages, like, with, with if they start uh, sending sending um, uh, all the, like, Diamond Art Club canvases. I want to see all of them. I want to just touch them all. Um, sorry, guys. My phone died. Um, anyway, I have to wrap this up. But um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you.